Tampon one. Tampon two. Yep. We have been here since two o'clock and it is officially 4.56. We've had two donations. <laughs> Hi, my name is Michaela Ada, and for the month of October, I hosted a menstrual product and bra drive in collaboration with I Support the Girls. I started using a menstrual cup as my primary period product, and as a result, I had products that weren't going to be used, and I preferred not to use them, and so I looked into ways that I could donate them. So what drew me to I Support the Girls was, was the range of people that they've helped. I saw that they've also done work um, overseas in the Philippines, and they've been involved in assisting people on Guam, and I happen to be of Filipino and Guamanian descent, and so that really hooked me. My name is Dana Marlowe. I'm the founder and executive director of the nonprofit organization I Support the Girls. I went to our, my local mall and was at a lingerie store and was getting fitted for bras. And while I was getting fitted, I asked the amazing sales associate who was working with me, like, what could I do with my perfectly good used bras that no longer fit me? And she said four words that basically changed the course of my life and led me on this amazing journey today to meet some incredible human beings. She said, Homeless women need bras. So this is um, a note from a woman. She has escaped a domestic violence situation. She wrote, I'm married to an abusive man. My husband controls the finances and vehicles, so he watches where I go and how I spend money. I have a plan to get out of the marriage and live with my sister. You are the first to offer personal products to me. And then another one from a woman who just wrote to us. I am just trying to survive with my kids. I lost my job and have five ladies at home. Please help. I am hurting from the coronavirus. You get about over 100 packages a week from our post office, and these are just from generous donors all over the country who mail in bras, tampons, maxi pads, everything from a huge box to like a tiny bag of two tampons. And then we'll bag them up and we'll label them and then I'll coordinate with local organizations in the DC and Maryland, Virginia area and they'll come pick up donations. Nine single use menstrual discs, 45 liners, three small bras, seven medium bras, and two large bras. You have six bras left and infinity and beyond to go with the other goals. Hello everyone, this is your weekly update on how the drive is going and I think I'm gonna go ahead and start by apologizing to you guys. I clearly set my expectations far too low for you all because the goal was obliterated this weekend. So much about bras and menstrual hygiene products are, they're small things, but so often the small things are the big things. And when you're homeless or when you're living on the street, the small things really are the big things. And so even though, yes, we're talking about a box of tampons or some bras that fit, if a bra fits and you feel more confident walking through life, well then that's dignity and we just wanna be able to provide a little bit of it. So it's the moment you've all been waiting for, the final account of our October drive. Adding it all together, with overwhelming success, we are providing a donation total of $133.63, 80 bras, and 2,168 menstrual products. That means that we exceeded our bra goal by 30 bras and collected over 10 times our original product goal. I guess to conclude, I highly encourage everyone to peruse your local area for organizations like I Support the Girls. Um, there are so many um, populations that have been left vulnerable during these times, as we know. Finding a community you care about and creating an impact wherever you can is extremely important, as long as you do it safely. <laughs> so, anyway, this concludes our October drive. Thank you so much, and on to a video of the fruits of your labor. Transition!
Count up your product and place them in. And close it up with a little bit of tape. Danica, oh. 